What is up everybody? It's your boy Banky 101 coming at you today with your week in review. This is that time of the week where you find out what's been going on over the past week with Modern Warfare Remastered, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare. I am going to be your one-stop shop for all of your Call of Duty news, so stop back here every Friday to find out what's been going on in Call of Duty. To get into things this week, Modern Warfare Remastered has, for Weekend Warfare, Prop Hunt. Yes, Prop Hunt. If you haven't played Prop Hunt before, it's a loads of fun. You get to go into the maps and basically it, there's one person that needs to go find everybody. And if you're not finding a person, you're hiding and you get to hide as a prop. So if you're looking through the other person's perspective, you could hide yourself as a log, a refrigerator, a plant, something. So you really need to remember what these maps look like and look for things that are out of place. It's loads of fun. Make sure that you go out there and play it. It's only out there for the weekend. It'll probably be out today at some point, and then for sure Saturday and Sunday, and then it's gone on Monday. This is one of those fun modes, so make sure you get out there and play it. On to Infinite Warfare. A handful of things happened this week. One of the things happened is that we now have voiceover packs. And I don't know how these really are going to go over. They're, they gave us out one free pack, which is like a UK Spec Forces, and that was free. The guy's voice is from, I think, Ghost and one of the Modern Warfares. And the other voice is Method Man. Method Man is the one that you're going to have to pay $3.99 for. I don't know how I feel about these voiceover packs. I'm probably going to go out, download that free one, and see if it really appeals to me. I doubt I'm going to pay $3.99 for a voiceover pack because the voiceover packs really do not mean much to me. That would be something that would be cool in a supply drop, um, but as a separate uh, DLC content that I have to pay for, probably not. Even though it is Method Man and I love my Method Man, I'm not going to pay $3.99 for that. We also had something fantastic to happen this week and they put out new weapons and it was the Exion and the VPR. I did a whole video on these two weapons. Uh, the link in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, but it's a assault rifle and a submachine gun and they did it the proper way so if you have a season pass you got these for free if you don't have a season pass they set up challenges for you to unlock these and i think that's how a lot of dlc should be especially for infinite warfare with all the hate on the game they need to do stuff like this to win the community over i mean there's always a paywall between stuff and i don't think that's right i mean they need to like, Modern Warfare Remastered did it proper where, like, they've got a lot of new content, but you can always grind it out to unlock that content. It's not stuck by being behind a paywall. So, if you haven't been on Infinite Warfare and you have the Season Pass, make sure you check out those weapons. Check out the video that I did. It's going to be on the link in the description below. It's loads of fun. Both the guns are very decent. Um, the more I play with the Exion, I loved it because of the sight at first, and now the more that I play with it, it's not appealing to me as much but it still is a really good assault rifle. Tuesday they came out with their normal patch and that was actually a very small patch. There was only a handful of things that uh, they updated and it wasn't that big of a deal. But at least they didn't have to roll it back like I think 1.11 or 1.10 they had to roll back because they didn't do it proper. And usually in Infinite Warfare by now we know what the new game mode is that's coming out this coming week. This past week it's been cranked which is an excellent excellent game mode if you haven't tried that make sure and if it's still out there make sure you try that out that's so much fun um, I did a video on that as well link will be in the description check that out if you want um, but there's usually infinite warfare has a new game mode like every week um, sometimes they've been recycling stuff that's already been out there uh, but it usually goes from uh, from Friday at some point all the way to the next Friday so you know on this channel we're always covering the new game modes that they're pushing out so if it's something that I haven't created a video for I'll definitely be w playing it over the weekend creating a video for you guys on Monday if it is check my Twitter I'll be pushing out a notification of like whatever the game mode is that they're pushing out something that's been very cool is if you don't follow Lee Ross or if you do follow Lee Ross on Twitter this guy has been pushing out like cryptic messages I'll put a picture of one of them um, as far as like what the DLC 2 for Infinite Warfare is he usually just deals with zombies so this is gonna be all dealing with zombies but they're getting they're prepping up for this new DLC that's gonna be coming out for Infinite Warfare so hopefully they're gonna be putting that out quick probably within the next month or two because well there's been so much hype over the past week for the new Call of Duty 2017. Yes, that's right, we're already talking about it, but if you look at the history of 
when we get the review trailer or like a sneak peek trailer for all the Call of Duties, they usually come out uh, towards the end of April or early May. That's usually when we get that stuff. And I think by the end of this month or by the end of April, we're definitely going to know what the next Call of Duty is. Or at least we're going to have a teaser trailer and then early May we're probably going to get an actual full reveal trailer or partial trailer to know whether this is going to be World War II or not. Hopefully it is World War II. Everybody is hyped for that. There's definitely going to be boots on the ground. No more exoskeleton, I'm hoping. Um, and we're going to get back to grinding out those actual Call of Duties without the jump packs and without the futuristic stuff. It's going to be the straight up. People are going to be sniping. You know, if you're a sniper, you're going to be sniping. If you are a running gunner, you're going to be back to that running gun. Whereas, like, I think with, like, Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare, if you're a sniper, you can still run and gun because you got the exo suit and you can just pretty much fly around the map if you're pretty good at what you're doing. So that's this week's Week in Review. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in those comments below. Smash that like button. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.